Hi guys, Seattle Launcher here, and I'm going to be showing you a video of how to theme ADW Launcher or ADW Launcher X. So I've got my Xperia Play here, and the first thing that we need to do, well, we need to get ADW Launcher. So what I mean by it's cheap slash free is the free version is called ADW Launcher. The uh, cost version is ADW Launcher X. There's a little bit of a difference, it's definitely noticeable, but it's not horrible. So let me explain what you need to do. First, so the first thing you need to do, uh, get your phone, uh, and we're gonna be going to the market. So I'm gonna open up, click on the market, and you can either hit the search key or the search button up at the top. We'll hit the search key, and we're gonna click I'm typing in ADW Launcher. Now here we're gonna see ADW Launcher, ADW Launcher Donut, and a whole bunch of other like launchers. Uh, that's just because Google is looking for the key term like uh, launcher or anything with ADW. And then down below is ADW Launcher X. ADW Launcher X is the one that I have, and ADW Launcher is the free version. What's the difference? Well. Ander Webb, which is the developer of this app, he originally created it as an open source app. And it was a way for the Android community to uh, have a launcher that they could fiddle around with, uh, upgrade, update. Um, it's the launcher that Cyanogen Mod uses uh, by default, so it's really popular. Um, now with ADW Launcher X, or sorry, ADW Launcher, uh, it's free. Uh, it's got a lot of cool features. You can theme it. Doesn't cost a dime. Uh, the donut version is for Android handsets that are 1.6. Uh, the Xperia Play that I'm running, uh, the one that you'll be running too, is 2.3. So it's definitely a lot further in terms of versions. So let's go down to ADW Launcher X because this is the one that I'm using. Uh, it's really pretty. It works on Honeycomb. It works on Android handsets. Um, I think. 2.0 and above. Anyways, <clears throat> really nice app. Um, so when you want to download it, you'll pay for it. Um, it shouldn't cost a lot. I don't remember how much it costs, um, but I'll open it. And here we go. Uh, I set it up by default to this very bland home screen. You'll notice that these icons or, you know, they're the icons that you get with your apps. Ah, but how, how do you theme ADW Launcher. So let me show you how you're going to theme ADW Launcher. Really simple. You can go the route of going to the market and searching for themes. So you click on here and then you look like for ADW theme. Yeah, that's messy. Anderwebs left a really easy way to do it. So I hit menu went to ADW settings. So I didn't go to normal settings, I went to the settings for this launcher, ADW settings. And then I go over to themes, preferences. And up here, I have a couple of themes that I've downloaded, but let's say you wanna download your own. Well, there's a button right here that says get themes. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it exactly too well. Ah, oh, there we go. So you click on get themes brings you to the market with everything that can theme ADW Launcher. It's really big. A lot of it's free, some of it's paid. Um, most of the free ones uh, are actually pretty good. Um, some of them are horrible. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. But if it's free, don't complain. Uh, so there's a ton of stuff here. And if you want to download something, you would click on it and just like a normal app, you would tap download, and it would just download it like something else. Now, unlike normal apps that you download, you're not gonna be able to find it in the app drawer. It's not gonna be in here. Instead, we click menu, we go to ADW settings, and back in theme preferences, you'll actually find it in this iTunes cover flow area. So the one that you guys have seen me use is Nexus S Gingerbread, and this is a theme that costs a dollar. But here I'm gonna show you sticker album. This is a free one, uh, pretty cool. So all you have to do is click apply theme. Now it says, do you wanna add the theme wallpaper too? Yes, I do. 
you hit cancel if you don't want to do it. So we click OK. And that's that. Now we go home. Look at the difference. So now all these icons are sticker icons and the duck is also sort of stickery. Um, this is cool because you get to theme your phone your way. So you can still change the wallpaper. So I can go to wallpaper and change it to like this plasma that I get on my Xperia Play. So I do that. Plasma and stickers. Okay, that's cool. So you get to customize your phone this way. Um, so this is kind of fun. Um, I personally like, if we go over back to ADW settings, themes preferences, I personally like the Nexus S gingerbread one. Mm -hmm. And then the icons are all like cool black and green colors. Um, the wallpaper is static. So I actually go to wallpaper, live wallpapers, and I use Nexus King. So this is the background that I use. So we can go set wallpaper. And there we go, we have my space needle that I took, and then all these little green and gray squares that go across my screen that you've seen. Now, if you wanna change more settings, let's teach you the next thing. So we've, we, I've shown you how to get ADW Launcher or ADW Launcher X, and I've shown you how to download and apply a theme. But now, let's show you how to become a power user. What do I mean by a power user? Well, you're gonna see on my screen, let's, let's see if we can get it to focus. You're gonna see on my screen, it's really different. I don't have the top bar, I have just these dots, um, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I can uh, customize. So if I swipe down, oh, there's that top bar that you're used to seeing, the clock, the icons, the date, well, it's not really the date um, when it's in the closed mode. but So we've got all these emails and all my notifications, but then it goes away. You don't see it. Well, why do I want that? Well, if I have a widget like here, there's no point that I need the clock up at the top. And the only reason why I really need to know cell reception or anything like that is if I'm actually in a call. So I have that go away. And then I have sort of the, you know, my widgets, another little clock, the date, you know, stuff that's important that I don't need it up at the top. It gives me a little bit more space, a little room here. So in order to do that, I go over here, hit settings, and I go to, or sorry, I hit menu, go to ADW settings. And then we're going to change the UI settings and the general behavior. This is where you'll spend most of your time in ADW Launcher X in order to really customize it. There's also some presets. So an iPhone-ish launcher, or the default, or a Nexus-ish, or fast is, if you have a slower phone that doesn't have a really good prof processor, you can click on that and that will give you sort of the fastest launcher that you can get. So it won't take up too much memory. It's usually like really default, really bland settings. But if we go over to UI, we get to change things like the icons. So like we hit fancy backgrounds, we go here, and icons have these fancy colored backgrounds. This is, I think, in the style of the Samsung Galaxy S series. I think they had like sort of those fancy icons. Um, you can do new designs for icons. When you highlight something, like if you're using a D-pad, you can tell it to do a color, like if you want purple. Alpha is the transparency. So if you want it to be really that, or you can do, you know, really dark, you get to change the alpha value. Um, which I hope I didn't actually, okay, good. I'm like, I don't want purple. You can go to main dock and the main dock style, I like five icons. So that entire bottom row is just icons that I get to pick. Main dock size is how big you want those icons. I pick eight because 10 is a little too ridiculous. One is tiny. Let me show you this. Those are the icons. They're, you look really hard and there are actually things there, but 
that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm glad it's at least a setting, though, in case anyone really wants it, but I like to go with 8. And there we go, we can see those really nice. ADW settings, UI, screen preferences. Now, show desktop indicator, that shows you in terms of where you are on your home screen, because you can have multiple screens, that will show you are you on the very first one? Are you on the last one? Are you somewhere in between? Um, auto hide, and I like to do a sliding paginator up at the top. So when I actually slide through, you'll see this little slider up at the top, but then it goes away. So it tells me kind of quickly visually where I am without actually having to be, you know, annoying. Um, DW settings. UI, drawer settings, you can change how you want your drawer, whether you want it to scroll horizontally, vertically, whether it's a three-dimensional thing, so like if we go to uh, app drawer style and we do vertical 4D. When I click on here, ooh, 3D-ish, look at that, look at that, oh, oh, they, do they come from, oh, that's cool. Now, if we go over to Backup and Restore, you've come up with all of your settings. I advise you play around with it. It's really fun. You can get it to look really cool. You can back up the settings, or you can restore your settings. You can back up the desktop configuration or restore the desktop configuration. So I'm going to restore ADW settings. Yes. I think I, I backed it up not too long ago. And all my settings should be how they were before. So that's great. That's exactly how I had it before I messed around with it. So this way you can save it, and if you move over to a new phone, you can still keep your same launcher. You don't have to like restart all the cool customizations that you did. So you've probably also noticed that, like, uh... oh, that's right. ADW settings, backup restore, restore desktop configuration. Yeah. Okay. And that should put all my icons back where they were. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's exactly. Besides the widgets, sometimes when you reload stuff, uh, they're not going to come back perfect. Uh, so it's really simple. Trash it. And then I'm going to redo the widget. Um, so this one was up next. Yada yada yada, settings should all be the same. <sighs> so, as you see, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's everything that you're already used to. Oh, oh, you probably were wondering what that was. So if I have a widget, let's Let's remove this. Let's move this. Whoops. Let's show this as an example. So I can long press on any sort of widget. Long press. Long press. Oh. This isn't helping my demonstration. Okay. <sighs> I click. There we go. So I do that, it brings up this little context menu, and I can say edit. I can actually change the size of the widget to however I want. So I can make it really tall, or, oh man, that's really not helping me right now. Sometimes it's finicky, um, but I can make it thin like that. I don't know why you'd want to use a widget like that, especially this one. Um, it would be way too hard to actually tap through. Uh, but that's what you can do. You can certainly do that if you want. Um, another thing, when I click on certain icons, you'll see that they pop up with these folders. Uh, really kind of cool thing is these are the folders in ADW Launcher. So uh, if you want, 
you can go long press folders and then we go over to a new folder and it's an empty folder so we'll go grab books and we'll drag that in and we'll go grab Bruce Lee and drag that in and when we tap on it boop brings up that little thing and this can extend past four apps like in the emulators thing I have it as sort of this long thing um, but then I go click edit tap on that ADW theme icon packs there we go and I can say I want to pick a picture from the sticker album and okay that Bluetooth icon looks great I'm gonna rename it hi or hi say okay and now this folder looks like an icon how is this helpful it's not really but what's better than like say on an iPhone when you group stuff in a folder it just gives you sort of this tiny tiled image of what's in there this is cool because like I made a folder called camera I made it look like a camera and it's everything that relates to a camera so I have my camera my panoramic I have my high quality camera and then sort of the gallery so anything that relates to a camera is there everything that relates to a browser is in here so you can really become a power user by using folders by doing themes changing icons changing widget sizes backing up restoring oh there's a ton of stuff anyways I have dragged on, but hopefully, hopefully this answers all of your questions. Please, if you guys have any more questions, please like, please comment, message. I'm here for you. Anyways, thanks, and that's how to theme ADW Launcher.